Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello. Hey, how are you, Elizabeth? Fine, what about you? Very good, very good. Are you ready for your class? Yes, I'm ready. Awesome, awesome. How was your weekend? Very relaxing. <laughs> what did you do this weekend? Nothing. Well, sa Saturday and Sunday, I, I'm free. I don't do it. anything. I only stay in my home and watch movies and sleep. <laughs> and that's all. Oh, that's good. That's good. What movies did you watch? Uh, the first, I see The Legends of the Guardians. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And what else? Uh, Turning Red. <laughs> oh, okay. On Netflix. Uh, one is on Netflix, and then Turning Red is in Disney Plus. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Cool. So it sounds like you had a very calm and tranquil weekend. Yeah. Okay, that's good. That's good. Hello, Rigo. How are you? Hello, hello, Rigo. How are you? Hello, Maritza. How are you? Hello, Katya. Hello, hello. Fine, how thank are... you. Excellent. How was your weekend? Uh, it was a kind of a, I don't remember how to say ocupado. Busy, <laughs> busy, busy. Kind of busy. Oh. Uh, I, 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 I went to a park with my dog and my daughter. Mm, okay, okay. We spent all uh, in the, all the afternoon, mm -hmm. uh, Sunday afternoon, and mm -hmm. um, and I have to do the house uh, house work. Oh, okay. You could say house chores. House chores. Okay, thank you. Not uh -huh, like this. House chores. Okay, okay, that's good, that's good. Welcome back. All right. Does anybody have any questions related to the information that we practiced in the previous class? Do you remember what was the topic? We were looking at defining and non-defining relative clauses. Do you remember? Yes. Okay, we're going to review quickly this section. I know we have studied relative clauses before, but this time we'll learn a little bit more. Let's stay and find out the difference between defining and non-defining relative clauses. Defining and non-defining relative clauses. Defining relative clauses are used to identify people. A dialect coach is a language specialist. She works with actors on their accents. A dialect coach is a language specialist who works with actors on their accents. A dialect coach is a language specialist that works with actors on their accents. Non-defining relative clauses give further information about people. A location scout finds places to shoot scenes. He travels all over the world. A location scout who finds places to shoot scenes travels all over the world. 
As we mentioned on the intro video, we have two types of relative clauses. Defining and non-defining relative clauses. Let's look at the difference between them. Number one, defining relative clauses. The information in the clause is necessary. It shows us which person is being described or talked about. For example, the actor who starred in that movie is very talented. Number two, non-defining relative clauses. The information isn't necessary. It is extra information that is added to the sentence. For example, Tom Cruise, who starred in that movie, is very talented. I want to point out that commas are used before and after a non-defining relative clause. Think about the people involved in making a movie. Choose to and describe what they do using defining or non-defining relative clauses. Right, so this is one of the topics that we looked at in the previous class. And from that exercise, we were working on 4.8, which was the, the knowledge check instructions. Read the following sentences, add the non-defining relative clause in parentheses to the sentences. Remember to use commas for non-defining relative clauses and a period at the end. For example, a foreign correspondent travels all over the world who writes about events in other countries. And the answer is a foreign correspondent, comma, who writes about events in other countries, comma, travels all over the world. So we see that who writes about events in other countries, this is extra information. Is this defining or non-defining relative clause? It's a non-defining relative clause. All right, I want you to work in pairs and share your answers in pairs and share your answers. Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, work in pairs and share your answers. I think we, let me see. Um, we finished the, the form, verdad? Number section four. Mm, section four. We finish. Yes, right? Yes, yes. Uh -huh. um, I, I didn't see the number for the exercise. Number five. Five then. Five. Five what? Hi. Hi, hello. Hi. Which exercise is? I don't know. Uh, I just uh, connecting in this moment. I don't know the. <laughs> Me too. The about the, the t shirt. I don't know. If you can help me, please. Hi. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hello. I'm just connecting. Uh, <laughs> Could you please? <laughs> <laughs> Hi. No, no, we don't know. Exercise. <laughs> 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 
You don't know what the number. I that... guess it's number five because we finished the section four, right? Section four. Section four. Section four we finish. I remember. But let me see. And then? Yes, yes, the section four was finished. Right? Yes. Section yeah. five, but I don't know what the number. What exercise is? Yes, I don't know what this is. Uh, excuse me, I have a, call, uh, a doubt. Yeah. Uh, the teacher uh, to explain something. Uh, all right, let me have one volunteer. I want you to read the answer for number one. Hey. One, one volunteer. Elizabeth. Hey. Okay, Elizabeth. A uh, foreign correspond comma who writes about events in other countries comma travels all over the world very good uh, repeat after me foreign correspondent foreign well, corres correspondent very good thank you all right, let me have number two, Ivania. Number two, Ivania. May I? Yes, Juan, two, Juan Jose. Uh, okay, oh, Ivania, number okay. two, Juan Jose, number three. Okay. Okay, a web page designer who is a graphic artist needs sophisticated computer knowledge. Excellent, Ivania, thank you. Okay. Juan Jose, number three. Okay, an editorial page editor um, uh, who is a daily newspaper. Who is daily newspaper? Um, columnist gives opinions about current uh, current issues. Very current good. Issues. Current issues. I, I was Correct. reading in the for the uh, answer. Okay. Excellent. Good job. And the last one, Enrique. Gossip columnist who gets to go to fabulous parties write about celebrities and scandals. Excellent, very good. All right, at this moment, do you guys have any questions related to this activity? Okay, we're going to move forward and look at reading practice. How serious is plagiarism? And then we're gonna have the discussion. I would like for us to read it together. Let me have one volunteer read paragraph number one. Me. All right, Elizabeth. Go ahead, Elizabeth. Okay. Sir. Thank you. Certainly, a biology teacher in Kansas, a state in the American Midwest, made national and even international news after Christine Pelton discovered that 28 of her 118 students had plagiar plagiar plagiarized. Plagiarize. Uh -huh, plagiarize. Plagiarize. Part of a major project. She gave them failing grade. Although this was the school policy, the students' parents complained. Complained. 
complained complaint policy the policy 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 mm -hmm. the students parents complained the school board directed 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 mr spelton to change the punishment they told her that 600 points should be taken from the of, uh, offenders rather than the interior entire entire uh, 1800 points 1800 points points mr Pelton resigning in protest very good thank you select somebody please to continue okay enrique enrique continue why this come such as such such a significant story perhaps it's because so many people feel strongly about what is right and wrong although the incidents may soon be forgotten it raised some important questions what is plagiarism 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 how serious is this Continue. Very good. No, no, no. Stop right there. Go ahead. Select somebody to continue. Katya. Katya, continue, please. Katya Monterrosa. This simple, simply form of pleasure occurs when someone copies material without giving credit to the source. However, there are also, also more serious forms, such as when a student pays someone else to write an essay. Essay, very good. Thank you, Katya. Select somebody else, Katya. Roxana um, Mendoza. Um, All right, hey, Roxana. Continue. Okay. Some people claim that copying is necessary to do well in school. They have realized that their own words are not as good as someone else. Another common argument else's. is that else's. Someone else's. else's. Okay. Else's. Else's. Another common argument is that everyone does it. So it's not a big deal. In fact, it has been learned that even some highly respected figures, including Martin, Martin Luther King Jr., have plagiarized. Okay, continue. Excellent, excellent. No, no, no. Select somebody, please, to continue. Okay. Rigo Argueta? Rigo Argueta, continue. <laughs> Where is the problem? Although. Although. Although some people find reasons to justify plagiarism. There is the correct pronunciation. Plagiarism. Plagiarism. Others feel the issue is clear, but uh, they feel it is more morally wrong and consider is stealing a chief of ideas rather than money. These people believe that a student who plagiarize benefit unfairly, 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 they receive a better grade than they deserve. Perfect. The meaning of plagiarism. Uh, okay, stop right there. Uh, go ahead, select somebody. Enrique Hernandez. Enrique Hernandez. Again. Ah, no, no, no. Somebody else. Uh, he already participated. Somebody else. Ana Godinez. Ana Godinez. Okay, Ana Godinez. Okay. So. 
What about the incident in Kansas? Was the original punishment too severe? Do teach have the right to tell students and parents what is right or wrong? Ms. Pilton will probably say that the job of the teacher is to do exactly that. Perfect. Okay. Um, at this moment, do you have any questions uh, related to the pronunciation or the meaning of this vocabulary? Plagiarism, what is the meaning? Uh, plagiarism is eh, cuando alguien copia un material que alguien más escribió y lo presenta como original. For example, in the university, your teacher tells you to do something, write an essay, and you copy the essay from online, from Google, and you get a 10, a good grade. And the meaning of theft? Theft, robo. Theft, robo. Theft. Theft. Uh -huh. No estás robando dinero, estás robando ideas. And unfairly? Un? Unfairly. There says who play a rush benefit unfairly. Unfairly, no justamente. Unfairly. Se benefician no justamente. Unfairly. Teacher. Hi. Excuse me. Uh, what's the meaning of a uh, clear cut? Clear cut. Directo al punto. Clear cut. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Teacher. Hi. Teacher. Hi. Uh, what is the meaning of essay? Essay. Ensayo. Yeah. Un, ens right. un ensayo. A formal writing. Thank you. Uh -huh. Okay, so here you're going to write a paragraph. You're going to write a paragraph, va a escribir un párrafo, expressing your personal opinion about plagiarism. You will write the same paragraph with a partner, va a escribir el mismo párrafo con su compañero. Are you ready? Are you yes, ready? Teacher. Okay. Yes. Okay, let me see. Here we go. Can you see? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we can see. Okay, okay. We're gonna put plagiarism. Yeah. yeah. We need to write uh, a, title. a paragraph about the about our opinion, I think. Yeah. About player, plagiarism. Okay. Um, um what do you think about plagiarism it's good because everybody do it or it's wrong <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, everybody do it but it's not correct <laughs> it's not honest i think <laughs> when we are in school everybody has done it yeah uh, yes, but it's not correct. I think so too. Uh, what can the in uh, say? Okay. Uh, also, also at this time, uh, we all uh, look on Google everything. 
Yes, we look on Google everything too, yeah. but we had tried to change a little bit, but we yeah. look <laughs> in Google. Yeah. Uh, open it with. What what else? Well, I, I think uh, according to the paragraph that we read before, that is a, a kind of thief, robo, because we are stealing the ideas from other people. That's okay. why is that why is a a great problem because we are um, stealing the work yeah. Yeah. from others. Yes. It's a little, it's it, how to repeat. <laughs> it's a little still <laughs> of idea. Still idea, ideas from other people. From other people. Uh huh. Oh, maybe we can put it here sometimes. Yeah. Uh, uh, at the end, we are... But, uh, but we are, uh, but it's a... Uh, I, I don't know how to continue. <laughs> it's very hard for me, this, this topic. Uh, yeah, it's example. difficult to write. <laughs> yes. uh, but I consider it's uh, for the teacher uh, put or uh, gives um, their students to a penalty for the for the plagiarizing, and I consider it's correct that that the she she does because it's not for because it's not correct, right? I consider the teacher. Um, oh, or the teacher acts in, act in a correct way. In a correct way, I think. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you can write the teacher. Uh, according to yes. the, the paragraph. Yes, according to acts in in a correct way because she was trying to talk to teach talk their student. I don't know how to write how it, 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 can you spell the path of uh, enseñar? Uh, uh, yeah, it's T H T A G. I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember exactly. <laughs> but I don't know how. Bueno, let's put that. Uh, Tao, there is the her student. To be honest. We write the teacher acts in a correct way, correct way, because she was trying to talk to her students to be honest. Yeah. To to tell is is without age. Without age. Yeah. Okay, I think. Oh. Um, H at the end. H uh, between. G and T. And T. Yeah, okay. that's you. right. And I think it, it's the, the, the case is most relevant, more relevant because it was a, a policy school. So they have to be a, 
I think more, more correct than the other people. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, it's supposed to. <laughs> I, I don't know. How else can we write? Um, um, we I, I, I think that other idea is that it's wrong because the law, the law protects. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Yes. All right. Is everybody finished or do you guys need more time? Uh, let me see if everybody's back. Okay, guys, are you finished or do you need more time? We finished. You finished. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Let me have one volunteer. Please share with me your example. One volunteer. Share your example, please. Anybody? Somebody that wants to share the example. Or do you need more time? Or are you finished? Hello, can you hear me? Mm -hmm. For okay. me, plagiarism is when a person doesn't respect a copyright in the work done by other person. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And what is your opinion about that? I think that it's a problem, a common problem in the society, and we should be careful with it and make our own ideas. Correct. Very good. Thank you, Marcella. Another participant? Let me have. Uh, only I, I, I want to give an opinion about the plagiarism. Hi, okay, Juan Jose, thank you. When, when make a sentence, for example, or you uh, take an article for another uh, people, mm -hmm. uh, it's easier that to find the plagiarism is easier, but when when is I say to my co co uh, workers, my compañeros, mm -hmm. I say that it's, yes, it's very difficult because when when is a picture, for example, when you uh, take a picture about Google or another mm -hmm. application, for example, uh, make a modification mm -hmm. and say that's mine. Mm -hmm. um, I I had a problem that in my university mm -hmm. from that student, uh, the picture is similar to one picture from Google, mm -hmm. and when the student um, uh, say to where mm -hmm. where have to take the pictures, mm -hmm. the student say that is mine. Mm. but it's not really mm -hmm. and the, the, the student uh, to contract a lawyer mm. it was wow. very difficult because mm -hmm. the lawyer said uh, can you see mm -hmm. uh, when my when the student take the picture from google mm 
Can mm -hmm. you see? Mm -hmm. It's very, very difficult mm -hmm. for the laws. Okay, okay. All right, that's good. Thank you, Juan Jose, for your opinion. All right, at this moment, does anybody have any questions about this activity? No, okay, let's move forward. And we're going to section number five, intro video. Listen, please. You're about to watch the very last video of this course. We hope you enjoy them. We suggest for you to keep on watching and practicing your language. Hi, I'm Kai Nagata. I'm a television journalist based here in Montreal, Canada, and I'm also a lifelong cyclist. Right now, cycling is getting more and more popular in Montreal, with 10% of all commuters getting to work by bike, like me, and city officials want that number to increase. More bicycles means more bicycle traffic, and that means sharing the road. There's lots of opinions about how pedestrians, cyclists, and drivers should act and interact in the city. Let's find out what people think. Is there anything Montreal could do to improve things for cyclists? Yeah, well, I think the city should try to expand the system of cycle paths. One thing I learned this morning is that one shouldn't drive against traffic <laughs> because that's a problem. Sometimes there are corners uh, where drivers just cannot see you coming and so you should really try to avoid driving against the traffic if possible. What advice do you have for cyclists in the city? Cyclists should have their own bike lane and drive towards the oncoming traffic because they will be able to better see what the other parked cars are doing, whether they're driving or parked, the cyclists will have more control. What do you think drivers ought to do to help keep cyclists safe? Drivers should always check their rearview mirrors before opening their doors so that they don't hit a bicycle that's coming up behind them. Do you spend more time driving or riding a bike? Driving. What do you think Montreal could do to encourage cycling as an option for people? Uh, maybe education, maybe some restriction to driving downtown. So maybe making it harder for drivers. Right, right. that's the nature, the human nature. What advice would you give people who are cycling with children? There should be a law that says all children starting from age six should be educated on the rules of bicycling. What do you think of the idea of kids wearing bike helmets? I think they should, but a lot of them won't. What do you think the city could do to make cyclists even safer in Montreal? Um, I think it, it would be best if bicycles and buses were not on the same street. Why do you think that? Because they're not compatible. The bus is very large and we're uh, very small and not protected, but we drive approximately the same speed or on the same path. What do you think cyclists should do to help keep themselves safe in traffic? Be more aware of both automobiles and pedestrians. I think uh, there are ways in which sometimes we cut corners in terms of moving through traffic, um, particularly moving traffic, I think cyclists need to be aware. What do you think when you see cyclists riding around with headphones in? I don't think it's the best idea. Uh, you have to be alert. Um, you don't often need your ears when you're cycling, but every once in a while you hear something that indicate something that you didn't see and I, for safety reasons that I think you know I'd like to listen I'd like to bike and listen to music too but if you're going to do that I think you should do that in a park. What advice do you have for cyclists in the city? People should never wear Walkmans or iPods or whatever uh, while they cycle because a lot of cycle safety has to do with listening. What advice would you give people who are cycling with children? I think cycling on the sidewalk is fine uh, with kids. 
uh, I think most pedestrians are at ease with it. Uh, you know, look here, look at how wide this sidewalk is. If you have young children who are just learning to cycle, I don't see anything wrong with cycling on the sidewalk along here. What's your impression of Montreal as a city for cycling? Cyclists should take a bigger piece of the city and play a bigger role in the city. And I think that uh, drivers and even pedestrians should relax a bit about cyclists. Cyclists are good for cities. Wherever bikes and cars share the road, people are going to have opinions about how they ought to interact. Montreal is no exception, and we may not have solved all the problems yet, but we're working on it. I'm Kai Nagata reporting from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Okay. Now, in this activity, what you're going to do is you're going to come over here in the discussion forum and you're going to write a paragraph about how San Salvador or the city where you live could be more for cyclists and how it can improve the city. You can write the same paragraph as your partner. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Let's go. Could you share your screen? Um, yes. Wait, please. Teacher, are you are you here? Finally. No, it's not the teacher here. I'm going to try okay. Introduction videos, right? Yeah. Okay. Section five. But I don't understand exactly what the we need to write a paragraph about uh um, oh, cycling in our city is good or bad? I, I don't understand exactly. Do you remember? Like the video, it's the, the video was about the cycling, cycling drive, driver, cycling driver in the city. And the teacher said we need to write a paragraph about our city, but the cycling on our city. I don't remember except. <laughs> I suppose I'm saying how they improve our city. I, I think. Oh, well, I, I consider it's, it's good for your city if you can. Uh, where do you live? In San Salvador. In Santa Ana. And you? Oh, in Chachuapa. Okay. In my city, it's possible to to try. It's not possible because it's, there is not a, 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 how do you say, ciclovia? In English, I don't know. Ciclovia. There isn't. There isn't. Oh, there. There isn't ciclo. Bikeway. 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 Bikeway, yeah, it's not 
there isn't by way or there is there are not there are not by bike way in my city in but it's but there are there is not uh there are not a lot of cars in my city and it's possible to cycling or bicycling what how do you say bicicleta yeah, i don't know yeah. or ride a bike ride yeah. a bike on my on my city is possible and i consider it is good because it's you can help you the environment mm -hmm. uh is less pollution i think <laughs> Yes, I and think it's good it's for for the yeah, city. But, but. If many yeah. people uh, have a, a bike, and if it... also we don't have a bike. Wait. Ride ride the bike in the city because oh, another reason is uh for you is is good because you can do exercise at the same time and it's a uh, better and you should. I don't know, I don't know. You can, you can uh, save money because you don't need to, to, to put gas <laughs> on the bike, <laughs> on your bike, right? Only your leg works. I'm going to... And it's good for the environment, it's less pollution. Okay, like that. <clears throat> I don't know, it's bad. It's, it is better for cities that people ride bicycles to take care of the environment about so much avoid about so much pollution, pollution and for health you yeah, can you can the same money mm. what else mm, yeah, what else mm, and do exercise yes uh, would you ride a bike Okay, here is much um, for health uh, because you can do it. Yeah, we can because you can do exercise. I don't know if exercise is correct. Yeah, I think. Mm -hmm. Don't mention, don't mention that the city um, don't have a byway. Yeah, but the cities should uh, build, build, right? Yes. Uh -huh. Should build uh, some byways. Because uh, the role of mm -hmm. the street are how do you say? Angostas, uh, uh, right? Uh, 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 I don't know how do you say in English. 
esto, las calles son bien angostas o bien estrechas en Santa Ana, ¿vale? Right? And it's impossible, I think, in Santa Ana to build uh, some, some riot byways, I think. <laughs> no, only in the bypass and the um, street, but not in, inside the city, only out um, in the by, bypass. Yeah. No, inside the city. Ah, narrow. Street, uh, narrow. Very narrow. Narrow. There are narrow streets. Narrow. 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 Mm -hmm. Roads. I don't know. No caminos, no es calle. Narrow. Streets are very narrow. Narrow. Mm -hmm. Mary Santa Ana. Here in Chachuapa, there is no ride bike, ride by way, by ways. There is, there aren't. Mm -hmm. But the authority should build some of them, I think. Mm -hmm. I am, I watched, uh, um, many months ago, I watched a video about about right uh, byways in other country, but I don't remember the name of the country that they prepare the the city for the for the uh, bicycle driver, and it's good, I think, and it's a good idea, but. Here, I don't know if the authority have a, a, a project about that. I don't know, I think. Mm, I don't know, yeah. No, no. I think that no. <laughs> yes, but it's a good idea, I think. Yeah, because the environment. Yeah, yeah, for the environment and for your, your pocket. <laughs> yeah. yeah. In other country i know For your wallet <laughs> yes in other countries the people use too much the bicycle like Holanda. i didn't yeah there, but I, I there are there are uh, a space for that i think or oh, by weeks yes and the buses are, are especially for bike um, but I don't know, but here in, in our country, I remember that the minister of the, uh, I don't know, I don't, I don't remember what it is, said that the new, new carreteras, how do you say in English? New carreteras. Have mm -hmm. a, a, a bikeways, probably. But I don't know. It is true. The new. You know, mm -hmm. you know roads. Yeah. New roads. Ah, roads. Probably mm -hmm. have a, a, a byways, but I don't mm -hmm. know. I watch on, on the news. Mm -hmm. But maybe. <laughs> and do you watch that in the news? But the minister of the, I don't remember, what is the minister Trans of the? Transportation. No, Ministerio de Transporte. Yeah, I think. But Romero, Romeo. Transport Ministry. Transport Ministry. Ministry, yeah. Transport Ministry. Okay. I don't see new. Said that probably new new roads have a a, a byways. They probably, mm -hmm. yeah. They he said, but I don't know if it's true or not. Mm -hmm. I, I don't see news. 
But because it's, it's not the solution to have a, a others uh, roles for the for for the cars. The good idea is transform your city for the the byways. In other countries, they pass or they have an experience about the the roads for 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 cars because many cars every every day every year appear so mm, a lot of cars um, but they said it's not the solution in the city it's better to ride a bike in other countries I would like to do that, but I afraid because the the stall, the stall, I don't know, stall. What? The ladrones. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Yeah. Yeah. It's <laughs> in our country. Bike. It's dangerous, and I have a bike, and I I am afraid about about riding my bike. Yeah, yeah. like you. I don't have because I have. I, I prefer to, I prefer to walk. Oh yes, that that is is healthy. Too. I prefer to walk. Yeah, I prefer to walk on yes. the street or use the but without my my cartoon. the microbus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and. We need to write a paragraph, <laughs> but you you write you write I, the ideas in the paragraphs. Yes, I I write and I uh, share with you in the chat. If you can see, I copy and and paste oh, okay. for you. I don't know if you can see the paragraph on the chat. Yes, in the chat only for you. Oh, I, I put it. But yes. we need to write on the yes. discussion box. Yes, here is. Oh, yeah. Yes, it's better for cities that people ride bicycles to take care of the environment, avoid so much pollution, and for health, because you can do exercise. You can yeah. say more. City should be bikeways. But you can add about the, in our cities, there aren't, uh byways at the moment and they should build some byways it's our opinion right yes. it is, it is should the authorities be... or i don't know should <clears throat> build I some viral byways mm -hmm. I cannot see the paragraph because the, the letter is small. Yeah, you can me. see. Wow, yeah. you can see. Or you can see. I cannot see the paragraph now. now. Okay. Only the Google Traductor. <laughs> mm. Ah, the traductor. Here you see the Google Traductor, but yeah. I am I am sharing my my now the my Yahoo mail. But I, no, now we need to la reunión. Yahoo mail. Oh, now yes. Now yes. <laughs> yeah. It's there for city, but here cities should build backway or, or the authority. Backways, yeah. Our cities, right? Uh, Santa Ana and Chachuapa. <laughs> there aren't, there aren't, there aren't byways, and they should build some of them, right? Mm -hmm. okay. I think. Is go that paragraph. All the ideas, 
Uh, in a paragraph. It's okay. I don't know. Okay. If you if you can write if you want to write another idea, I don't know. We have time, right? We have a lot of time, I think. <laughs> but I think I don't know what's the name of the of the discussion. You can you can you can uh, send our your the 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 paragraph in a añade una publicación. I don't know. Yes, yes, but here in the titular, I don't know. In the video, I don't know what. Oh, now it's the time is over. Okay, thank you. Okay. All right, guys, time's up. Please continue working on the platform and please continue working with the exercises. At this moment, okay. do you guys have any questions referring to this activity? No teacher. No teacher. Okay. Mm -hmm. See you tomorrow, guys. Good night. See you. Thank Bye. you. See Thank you. you. Bye, Bye bye, guys. Bye. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye bye, guys. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.